This episode is brought to you by Indie Insights. Indie Insights is our bi-weekly newsletter and love note to the film industry, movies, and the creatives that make them, not to mention you, our esteemed listeners. Inside, you'll find curated industry trends, articles, exclusive commentary, and underappreciated films from filmmakers like you worldwide. And the best part is that it is completely free. So join today at www.bonsai.film. It takes just a few seconds. And once you sign up, you'll get the very next newsletter on Friday morning. It's that simple. Go to www.bonsai.film to get Indie Insights, our bi-weekly newsletter, and join a network of film creatives just like yourself. And don't worry, we'll never sell your information or spam you with a bunch of nonsense emails, just the bi-weekly film industry goodness you need. And if you ever tire of Indie Insights, simply unsubscribe. No gimmicks, no games. So go to www.bonsai.film to get Indie Insights for free. This is Mistakes in the Making. I'm Ted Welch, and I'm here to talk about mistakes. In the business of filmmaking or acting or writing, the things that I can speak on, I was afforded the opportunity starting out to be cast in a, a bigger movie. And a lot of times those opportunities have a lot to do with luck. And I, uh, starting my film career, was very, very lucky. And I got cast in the movie The Help that was nominated for Oscars and all the good stuff. And um, I didn't take advantage the way I should have. I thought that, well, this was this easy. And now I have these big agents and managers and everything, and I've been taken to Los Angeles, and I have a bunch of money, that this is always going to be this easy. And the mistake that I made is I just didn't go to any rap parties of television shows I was on. I didn't go to any networking events. I didn't go do anything. I didn't I didn't write scripts. I didn't create my own content, which is the most important thing in this day and age is to create your own content. Do not rely on other people creating it for you because you're dependent on people. But I didn't, I didn't take advantage of the things that were offered to me. I thought that my talent or, you know, how I perceive my talent would just do it for me when in actuality, that's not the case. And so um, when I started to be a little bit less physically of the type that I had been in True Blood and Justified and the Help and these different things, then my manager didn't want to represent me anymore. And then there was a year and a half where I didn't book anything. So I decided to move back to Nashville and make my own movie and just start over. I got rid of all my agents. I got new agents here. And I thought, well, I'm in Nashville. I'm going to book everything that comes through here because I've been on these television shows. And that's wrong. Again, I was wrong. It was a mistake that I had made where I thought I was a little too big for my britches. And in reality, the casting directors in the Southeast had no clue who I really was minus that guy they had seen in something. And so they don't trust to cast me until they see me do two or three or four or five auditions. And they're like, oh, he can do this. So at that point, when I wasn't booking things here and shocked and didn't know what to do and kind of started questioning my own abilities, I then sat down and wrote a movie with, I wrote scenes for a movie with my friend Eli and then Stephanie Black, my other friend and I, put that into a movie, made it a movie, Adult Interference. And we put that out in the world. And it had some hiccups and some bumps, 
but eventually we got distributed by Gravitas Ventures, which has been great. But the mistakes that I made of not seizing the opportunities that I had afforded to me in turn made me work for myself and believe in myself and, and take my ability and not worry about all that. So we've made a movie. And then once the movie got made, I started booking a lot of parts again. And I did Women of the Movement. I did the new Martin Scorsese movie, Killers of the Flower Moon. And I've done all these, these things once I started to get my confidence back and started to go out and meet people and be, you know, hey, how's it going? And network and do those things that you need to do. Because ultimately, making movies, acting, writing, whatever, is about community. And like when one of us gets stronger, we all get stronger. And that's Los Angeles, New York, here, Atlanta, wherever you are, it's about your community. So in turn, what I did when everything kind of stopped is I worked to become part of this local Nashville community and become friends with everyone so we could all work together. And that is... That is the good that came out of the mistakes that I made, is I now have a community and, you know, a family of friends that we all work and help each other. And that's, that's, that's what I learned from my mistakes is this is exactly where I need to be. And these are exactly the people I want to work with. And if you want to ask me any questions about the journey or making your own stuff or any of that, uh, you can find me on Instagram at D. Ted Welch. And um, yeah, that's it. You've been listening to Mistakes in the Making. If you have your own mistake that you've made while in the film industry and you want to let others know so they don't make the same mistake, reach out to us at contact at bonsai.film and we'll take it from there. You can also reach out to us on social media at underscore bonsai creative on Instagram and Twitter. And you can search for us on YouTube and Facebook by searching for Bonsai Creative. You can also visit our website where we have industry insights and links to all of our podcasts and so much more at www.bonsai.film. And thank you for listening.